Now, a meeting of over 4,000 government and United Nations officials from across the globe to come up with ways to tackle pollution closes in Nairobi, Kenya, with resolutions to cut the amount of plastic going into the ocean within the next eight years. The UN says the world needs to reduce pollution drastically through collective action to ultimately save lives. Signed a resolution to eliminate plastic marine pollution at a United Nations summit in the Kenyan capital, Nairobi, on Wednesday. A move some delegates hope would pave the way to a legally binding treaty. It's still unclear how the resolution might eventually be enforced, but countries like Norway hope it will provide a blueprint for future negotiations in the same way that early climate change resolutions led to binding commitments. According to the United Nations, if current pollution rates continue, then by 2050, there will be more plastic in the sea than fish. On the sidelines of the summit, UNEP's chief of advocacy, Sam Barrett, said part of the resolution will see countries beginning to monitor the amount of plastic they put into the ocean. The resolution will see regions and countries starting to monitor and audit the amount of plastic that they're putting into the ocean. And we're also going to see probably another commitment that will, will reaffirm the fact by 2025 they will cut the amount of plastic going into the ocean. Eight million tons of plastic waste are dumped into the ocean every year, killing marine life and entering the human food chain when fish digest tiny pieces of plastic. Norway, which derives 70% of its gross domestic product from the ocean, initiated the resolution by citing the effects of plastic waste on its own seas. Barrett says the environmental problem is also a health issue because human beings consume a variety of sea products. Whether it's shellfish, whether it's salt, whether it's water, we're seeing plastic everywhere now. And so people are being affected deeply by this issue, which is why it's no longer just an environmental issue, it's becoming a health issue. And so we need to act to really address plastic going into our ocean so we can turn the tide on this huge avalanche of plastic going to our ocean. So the biggest burden is us, which is why we need to act on this. But conservationists warn that a resolution, no matter how bold, will not be enough and that governments need to ban and redesign some packaging. South Africa's Environment Minister Edna Molewa said the private sector plays a crucial role in driving the fight against plastic pollution, adding that her country had seen great success by engaging recycling companies. We are very grateful that we have had industry that's very responsible, that has really been acting ahead of us with initiatives like the PETCOS. I mean, I've opened two factories already. Uh, of the uh, initiatives of collecting where they get communities to collect these bottles as an, when every function ends. You see an army of people coming to collect it. China was named as the biggest producer of plastic waste and the UN says it has previously avoided making international commitments to cut down but that is changing with speed and determination. And that's our program today. Thank you for watching. I am BC Adebayo.